Yes, welcome to my videos. So guys, today in this video, I'm going to show you in details how to apply for Canadian citizenship online step by step. Before I proceed further, if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please don't subscribe right now. And also I would like to clarify neither I'm an immigration consultant nor I'm a government body. So if you take anything out of this video, you do it at your own risk. All right, guys. So uh, let's proceed. So guys, in front of you, I have opened this uh, citizenship application page. So there are certain conditions under which you can apply online. Like if you are an uh, adult, 18 year or old, you are a PR, then you can do. And also uh, there are some criteria for minor, but there is there is something where you can apply only on paper. Like if you have time spent outside Canada and if you have a representative applying on your behalf. OK, so let's say you're an adult and you don't fall here and you fall under online. So you come here. If you want to apply, see how to apply on paper. I have already made detailed videos about that. You can go ahead and watch. And also I would like to clarify neither I'm an immigration consultant nor I'm a government body. So if you take anything out of this video, you do it at your own risk. So guys and any information I uh, show in this video would be sample and would not belong to any real person. These are just sample numbers. OK. So the very first thing is to create an account if you already do not have it. OK, and if you have it, just sign in because what happens is like you uh, log in and then. You can. Uh, continue like you can save your application, you can come back and do it and you, you get 60 days after initiating an application to finish it. All right, so I have the account, so I'm going to log in and then I'm going to show you. But if you don't have just go and click create an account. Uh, sorry, uh, you need to provide email password and then create click on create an account. You will get. Uh, you will get a code on your email address and that you need to put in in order to successfully. We can. Go ahead. All right. So I'm going to show you that. So now we are on the main page here after login after verifying your account because you are beginning your application. Click on create an application. OK. Now select which kind of so let's say you are an adult, so you'll select this one. Now I'm just putting sample information, OK? So it will be. Smith uh, XYZ Smith, OK? Sample. Date of birth, so I'm just putting sample 1992, OK? January 1, OK? And click on create application. OK, now if you want to add more application, you can create an application here. I mean for other people and if you want to remove it, you can delete it. So I, of course I'm going to delete at the end, but I'm going to show you how. OK, this is for co-applicants. OK, as a group, all right. So click on start. Which language? OK, these are the tabs. So, so three sections, first provide details pay fee review and sign. of course i'm not going to pay the fee but first section i can show you which language you would like to receive service i select english special accommodation requirement no uci is very important eight or ten it's gonna available on your any ircc communication that you have received so i'm just putting sample uh eight your name smith have you ever changed your name uh since become personal i select no any other name used? Gender, change gender designation, no. Height, centimeters, I'm just putting 176 centimeters. Sample, it's not my height. <laughs> Eye color black. Date of birth, have you corrected date of birth? No. Place of, uh, do you need to correct your date of birth for your citizenship application? I select no. Okay. And once you submit application, you cannot change your date of birth, so be very careful. Uh, city of or town. So let's say this guy was born in New Delhi. Make sure it matches with your passport to avoid any confusion. Rest is up to you. Metal status. Let's say this guy is single. Check if page is ready. Okay, so you can always save it. And when you click on next, you can go to other tab, uh, next element, but you can even navigate between them. Identification. One photo you need to upload that, of course. And photographer information date taken. Two pieces of ID. Okay. So like your passport. Okay. That you can do second ID, health card, uh, uh, 
driver license, health insurance card, age of uh, majority card, senior citizen identification card, other ID card issued by foreign government. Okay, this you can do. That's fine. The first one is like your PR card or by my page of your passport travel document. That's okay. And as I said, we can go to the next page also. Taxes. List all addresses inside and outside during your entire five year eligibility period. Perfect. So you can provide this information. It's very simple. Police certificates. In the past four years, were you in a country or territory other than Canada for one more in a row? I select no. And do you have a social insurance of SIN? So if you do this, they're going to ask for the SIN number. And that's very what you should provide. And if you have filed taxes, you should definitely select yes. Consent. Do you currently or have you ever had a major in a country other than Canada? So yes, let's say you have come from this. You had citizenship over there, right? And if and if you are so if you still um, a citizen of India, you can click no, uh, not applicable, right? Just sample it, guys. Year, month, like you can put date of birth because you got by birth, all right? Have you ever held travel document passport during your five year uh, period? Yes. OK, so you provide that information, your passport information. OK, perfect. Work and school. Like your employment and education history in past five years, your eligibility period. OK, this is very simple. I don't have to do it. Prohibitions are very important. Are you now serving term of imprisonment? I select no on probation on parole. No, but you need to answer as per your case. Third outside the city an offense and offense outside Canada. No, 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 no. What president have you been convicted? No, no. I'm just selecting no, but you need to do as per your situation. Language proof. Yes. Which language proof? Later from institution, post secondary education, English and progress report from an institution, report card from an institution, English language test, French language test. Ontario, they have like so many things. Quebec, Saskatchewan. OK, whatever is applicable for you, you can just select that. So let's say you have IELTS. That's the most common one I see people doing it. General training, OK. Physical presence. So here you need to add the calculator. It's just going to like it's going to calculate. OK, during five years, did you live in a outside Canada as a crown servant? I select no. As a family member of crown servant, no. When did you become a permanent? So, so let's say, for example, this guy became in 2018. Uh, May 10th, just sample. OK, so did you spend any time serving a sentence? Did, uh, did you leave Canada for any reason without a vacation, work, business? And then you select no, so that means. But if you have uh, gone outside Canada, even for short trips like USA, India, anywhere, Select yes and provide the duration of those trips so that your calculator gives you accurate value because they have access to your travel records in and outside Canada via CBSA. So be very careful. Next is consent. Request for all uh, IRS member of parliament. Yeah. National register of electors. Yes. Why not? Authorization. Choose type of signature you want to receive paper electronic. I would go for electronic. Now this page is ready. Optional documents. If you want to add file, you can add. Otherwise, like I, I know I have uh, once you uh, are done with everything, then you see the next option and you go to pay fee. And there you can. Uh, uh, pay the fee now how you are going to pay. You're not going to pay here. You have to click on this link. 
here you pay the fee okay okay select your application type let's a citizen continue 18 is how many people applying one okay if you submit it it will ask you to log in and pay and you can pay it okay and then you get the receipt that you have to upload here and then once that is also done once everything is right now you can if this continues disabled because a lot of these tabs these options are disabled when once you are done with everything you get this continue you'll be unsigned and from there you go uh, to the next step so thanks for watching this video please subscribe to the channel thank you